Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. It's a beautiful day. A little bit windier than what I want, but it'll do. So today we are at the dairy and I have got this trusty little Model 5 22 here set up. Uh, they actually don't make these anymore, but they are solid. I love this little gun. But I got the scope camera set up again. At least I think I do. Uh, it's a little bit harder to focus on what I wanted, so hopefully the images come out clear. They looked fine in my little testing stuff, so hopefully I don't bump it or something silly and make it mess up. But uh, the gun is sighted in. We're good to go. So we're going to walk around the dairy, see if we can pop a few starlings, sparrows, you know, whatever else is legal. So hopefully this will be fun. You guys have requested a lot. Last year I was planning on doing a whole bunch and just had lots of problems, but I think I got them fixed now. At least I think I remember how to run this camera. So let's go out and see if we can smack a few birds around. Man, there are starlings flying all over the place. Maybe I should have brought the shotgun. I guess I can always run home and grab that real quick. You know, if we can't get anything to post up on and maybe get some shots that are there sitting. Oh. All right, well, let's walk around, find a good spot to hunker down. Maybe we can, you know, get a good line on the feed bunk or something like that where shoot them sitting off the concrete or something. Don't know till we try. Maybe that spare will hold so long enough. Of course not. There's one. Big swing, big miss. I don't know if I moved when I pulled the trigger. Probably shot over them. I want to make sure I didn't actually hit the building, so kind of had to thread a little bit close on that one. Oh well, better luck next time, right? <laughs> Got him. Well, let's go ahead and pick up this starling that we got. Man, I got sand in my shoes. I might have to go back to being barefoot. It was way less complicated. Uh, yeah. I really wonder though, that pigeon that I shot. At least I thought I shot. I wonder if, I don't know. We're going to go back there and see if he just dropped off the back there. I'm not sure what happened because there's no reason I should have missed. Man, I should have stepped this off. Got him though. Mm -hmm. Kind of a pretty bird. Decoy now, at least until later. Hmm. Should have dropped right back here. I can't wait to look at the footage and see what happened. Probably pulled the gun. I haven't shot rifle in a while. Well, let's go uh, move down to around some of the heifer pens, calf pens and stuff like that. A lot of times sparrows will hang around there. Maybe we can get a few to hold still long enough to, to get a shot. I am not used to having to manually turn on two cameras. I missed a shot cam where I could just give it a good old bump and go. But, you know, we'll try. Sparrow. The building wasn't behind it. I would try to shoot that one. Maybe we'll get one anyway. There we go. I don't know if I'll be able to find him or not, but uh, got him. Let's sit on the wire. That's something I won't shoot off of. Don't want to do that. Run the dairy out of power. That'd be awesome. Hey, baby calf. Let's say hi. Hey, dude. How are you? Hmm. Yeah. You're a good little calf. 
you a heifer? Nope. So you won't be around real long. They have a buyer that picks up all the bulls because the dairy just keeps heifers. So, oh boy, hey, I know you're kind of hungry right now. At least that's what you're showing. But uh, yeah, anyway, the dairy has a buyer that comes pick up all their bull calves and they keep the heifers. Bulls tend not to milk very well. So uh, I did see that mama just dropped a new baby. Try and zoom in a little bit there. I don't want to get too close and make a ruckus for her, but yeah, brand new baby calf. I don't think that thing's been on the ground for an hour. That's cool. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. So I was hoping that sparrow, there's a sparrow sitting on the line there. Was sitting on the line. He flew off now. Uh, but he was sitting on the line there, and I really wanted to get a shot on him because I was hoping he'd jump up to the top of the pole. Starling came along. Perfect. Anyway, this is fun. I miss this. This is awesome. Hopefully, I can find more 22 ammo. I'm going to have to see if I can scour the earth for some. Uh, if you guys know of where I can pick up some, my local Walmart used to be where I always used to get it, and I haven't been able to find any. I did get some CCI stingers off of Rogers. It's been a little bit back, but I got two boxes of those. So I got a 200 rounds and I'm still working on a few super X's that I happen to have laying around. So I'm going to be running low on 22 ammo, but you know, a couple hundred shots. That, that's quite a few. Don't want to run out for sure because you know, trapping season and all. But anyway, uh, let's go find this uh, Starling real quick. He folded straight back. So yep, there he is. Uh, let me climb the fence and get him what am I young we're gonna go this way yeah grandpa said the difference between an old man and a new young man the young man goes over the fence the old man opens up the gate I went around the fence so I guess it makes me kind of almost old but there we go dropped him right through judging by a little bit of the matter there right at the base of the neck awesome hi guys what's up oh I saw a starling I took a shot this one and I rushed it wanted to get everything set up but I was like oh he's gonna fly away pulled the shot I did not and he has settled down. Just calm down. You'll be okay. While I'm walking around the dairy here, uh, I had said something to good buddy Brian about some calf huts. Now, apparently, every once in a while, they get new ones in, obviously. And some of the old ones that are a little bit more broken up and have issues, they get rid of. They might have some available. I don't know if this is one or not. Uh, I have a feeling it might be now this looks like a new one so these are the new ones here they're pretty big but actually i bet i know where the old ones are hold on yeah that looks more like it so these obviously have had better days they have cracks like that um they're just i mean they're definitely not going to be super nice but they should work you know pretty good shelters for the ducks and geese and goats and stuff like that Especially if, you know, I can get them for fairly reasonable. I have no idea what that is. Also, I have no idea what a new one costs. New ones might cost, shoot, I bet, probably six, seven hundred bucks for those nice new ones. They might even cost grand, fifteen hundred. I don't know. So, I don't know what these things will run me, but I'm interested in seeing. I don't know if you guys have ideas. I could make runs. I would make little breeding pens for chickens and geese and stuff like that. Hmm. Birder. Did you hear me shooting and come out to get a treat? I kind of wanted it for a thumbnail, but... Here, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. You want it? Hey, burger. Would that make you happy? If you don't take it, that's fine with me because I could really use it for the picture. Hmm? Can I have it back? Oh, okay. I give you pets. Burger. I was just checking some footage. Why'd you take... Why'd you take my bird? 
I'm mean, gonna offer it to you and then I took it back. Oh well. At least I have one more for the picture. Uh, so I just went through, which you guys have figured out by now, went through and looked at some of the footage. Pretty rough, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna see if I can fix it, um, and tinker around with it. I do have a bunch of stuff I need to get done today. Uh, the wife wants to plant some garden stuff. I have some this and that to do. Basically, I don't have time to do everything I want. So anyway, that was the beginning of the sniping stuff. I need to get better at being steady and I need to get out this cow pen. That good snack for the burger. Yeah. Ooh, cross that hole up better than I do. Anyway, I'm gonna get it fixed, uh, just not necessarily today because it is really frustrating. But I do have to learn on, I do need to get better at bracing myself and squeezing the trigger and uh, you know connecting right. But anyway, that's what, uh, that's all this footage for now. So. I'm not sure what else we did or will do in this video, but that's the start. So the footage probably isn't great, but uh, popped around the corner here and I shot one left-handed, mainly because like there was a house directly behind a right-handed shot. So I had to adjust a little bit. Not that I think the 22 would go that far, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. But I got another one. Here's the blurry footage. Um, this one, you can tell by the silhouette, took it a little hard. Uh, yeah. That one, uh, dropped dead. You know what? Just got back here to the car to pack up and go. Uh, just because I feel super bad about the footage being so bad. Like, it was terrible. At least from what I can see, unless it just looks really bad on my phone and isn't that bad. I'm gonna run, go get the shot cam. We're gonna get some cameras that I know how to work, know how to run, and we're gonna shoot a few. That way you guys can actually see the birds. So I'm gonna quickly do that, come back, and uh, pick you guys up again. Mm -hmm. Now, much easier to use. Cannot wait, actually, I already have one set up. So gonna get a, an extra GoPro battery real quick. I don't need all this there. Gonna grab my gun. I have a few shells, I didn't bring a whole lot. It's that time of the day. Got my water. It is water, not tea. A little bit warm for tea. For some reason. Anyway, uh, let's go shoot some birds. Now, I am sure that I'm probably mix and matching the footage here. That way it's not all one thing. But let's, uh, let's go walk around and shoot some starlings. They're still buzzing around. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, now there were some when I pulled up that were in here. Maybe, nope, there goes one out the back. Maybe there's one more. Birds seem awful comfortable. Flat in front of me. Do it. No, not the backside. Well, figured that trick out pretty quick. Well, there's the first one. Hey, look at that. I shoot better with a shotgun, who knew? Uh, I'll go pick him up here in just a second. I wanna see if anything else flies around, you know, since they just spooked everything. There we go. Who's next? All right. Let's see if we can find him. Walked right over him. There we go. All right, let's go get the other one, pick up a few more shells. All right, the other one I dropped right at the base of this dirt pile here. Let's see if we can find him. He went right in here somewhere. Literally just turned off the camera. There we go. All right. Add these guys to the pile and pick up a few more shells. It's not live, cat, just grab it. There you go, kitty. I was gonna use that for part of the thumbnail, but uh, have at it. Good kitty. That's where it ended up anyway. Uh, so I did grab a few more shells. I went and checked one building. 
And then I decided, you know what? What I was actually going to do today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, but I could use a little help because I am not savvy in this area at all. So, I picked up a bow fishing bow. Uh, I am no archer, don't claim to be. I'm probably gonna be complete trash at it. I kinda gotta put together how I think it's supposed to be, uh, but just as likely that there's some pieces that are upside down and just completely wrong. I don't do this. I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about a bow other than it's a stick and string. So yeah, I'm hoping to watch a few tutorial videos and stuff like that, kinda figure it out. But last time I was at the lake, there were some carp in really shallow, bleh, there were some carp in really shallow water. So it looked like fun, now to go get it done. So I was gonna do that today. Thought I needed to actually do some more research and go out there and just start flinging arrows like an idiot. So let's go shoot a few more birds in a way I know how. And uh, just thought I'd give you a little, little, little update on what's to come. Never saw me coming. I like this little hide. So I'm sitting right here behind the, this tank. So what they do with this tank is it pumps a bunch of the water down there from the lagoon. See the pump out there? Pumps up, up underground, up to here. And what they do is there is a pipe somewhere. Anyway, they pull on this lever here. It releases the water, which goes flooding down here and pushes all of the cow's manure down to the end. Washes it all out. They do that a couple times a day. I'm glad it's not on Mac Tyner because I wouldn't know if it was going to come out and get me or not. Um, they do it manually, so I'm not worried about being up to my knees in water rushing out of here. Here comes one. Right there. Boy, they really just do not see me right here. You have to remember this. I like this a lot. Nice. I'm in the shade. Got a good breeze in my back. Kind of smells like dairy. But I mean, come on, I'm hunting dairy. What do you expect? You guys don't have to smell it. It's just me. Mm, hey, buddy. There we go. Ooh, those barn swallows about got me. I like it. Well, it has slowed down a lot. It is almost lunchtime. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pick up my shells, pick up these three birds, and if something else flies by, awesome. If not, then I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get to the vehicle. Here come a pair. down there we go crash landed in the side of the pond i knew i hit him wasn't a great shot but i did get him all right now i'm picking up my stuff and leaving Man, you gotta love a day when you're just feeling like you can shoot anything and hit it. Unless it's a rifle, then I'm no good. But okay, now I'm gonna pick up my stuff and get out of here. Well guys, uh, I did not finish filming there cause I went and took some thumbnails and completely forgot to close out the video and show you all the birds. So I apologize for that. So I'm closing it out here. Um, I thought while I was at work, actually on break. So I thought I'd show you a little makeshift garden that we got going on here. Nothing crazy, but I'm excited about it. 
So that's what I did actually after I left the dairies, went home, did some things. So uh, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. I plan on, I'm not sure what happened really with the whole scope cam thing. Uh, I happened to turn the camera into blackout mode, so I couldn't tell what modes I was in. It was, it was a mess. So I'm gonna try and tinker with it, fix it. Hopefully I can get the whole focus thing figured out for sure, like what I need to do. So yeah, if you guys did like the video, thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Uh, a subscription would be awesome. If not, hopefully we'll just see you on the next one.